Welcome back everybody. I am Buddy Blackford. I'm going to be going over mask interpolation in After Effects CS6 with you for this tutorial. And basically what I'm talking about is when uh, a, a shape changes into another shape. So I made a circle here and I changed it so it goes into like a flying saucer looking shape. And as you see, I mean, it kind of gets like gross looking when, and not very nice looking when it transforms. It just like turns into like a blob. It's not very nice looking and everything like that. So I'm going to show you how to fix this to make it a little bit nicer and um, tell you about the different parts or different properties in the, on the way, I guess. So the way you need to do it is come up to window and we need to click on mask interpolation now yours is probably going to start at whatever you keep uh, keyframe rate is which is probably 24 it's going to have linear vertex paths checked and then this is probably going to be at like nine so these are probably your default settings and we'll start from there and i'm just gonna select these two keyframes because these are the ones that it's interpolating between and hit apply and we can just look and see what happens it added keyframes on the mask path and a whole bunch of vertexes and here it goes this is what it does so let me click off so you can see a little better I mean it's still not perfect you can see down here we got a part going in and a part coming out which makes no sense and this is coming in and this is coming in so we want to make it uh, look nicer also it's got a whole bunch of points maybe we don't want that many points so I'll show you how to fix that so I'm gonna hit control Z to go back and we're going to we're going to uh, change the keyframe rate and that's how many keyframes per second it's going to have in between so we only have a couple options so I just uh, let it go down to 15 because I didn't feel like it need this one needed a lot of keyframes in between now down here on uh, use linear vertex paths you can check that if you're going from like a square into like a, pe a pentagon or something like that where all the the lines are linear and they don't have bezier handles they aren't curved or anything like that but uncheck that to get more fluid organic motions now the bending resistance is uh, how fluid it is during the uh, transition so the lower the bending resistance the more fluid the higher the more rigid it is the quality is uh, how like is uh, how nice you want it to look, like the edges and everything while it's transforming. The add mask path vertices, vertices. Uh, I guess that's how you say it. Allows you to add extra points in between, and it'll it'll make the interpolation a lot more smooth. So usually you want to have that checked because that's the main reason why we're going to use this. We're going to add vertices vertices in there to um, make the interpolation more smooth. Pixels between vertices right here. If you lower it, you're going to have a lot more points. If you um, increase it, you're going to have a lot less points. So I felt for this one we didn't need a whole bunch of points. So I put that to 15. Matching method. you pretty much just want to keep that on auto and then use one-to-one -one vertex matches you don't really ever want to have that uh, checked the first vertices match you want to always have that checked because using which um, vert vertice you uh, start from is uh, pretty crucial if you create if you uh, create your interpolation and it's all like messed up and it looks all bad so you might want to change which uh, which uh, vertice you start from 
and that is you, you can right click let me click off let me click on a point and you right click and you go to mass shape and path and you can hit set first vertex and it'll change it so that's kind of like when you start drawing your uh, motion path it's gonna it'll start from there as you can see it changes how it how it works it's a totally different transformation than the last one so I'm gonna keep it on the top because that's what we were working with before and it rotates around and it kind of looks cool so let's uh, let's hit apply and we'll see how let's look at this first and this is how it started all like a blob and everything now we'll hit apply actually you gotta select your two keyframes first and then hit apply now let's check and see what it looks like I mean it looks a lot more fluid and nicer I'm gonna click off I'm gonna hide this real quick and then we'll do a ramp review and just look at how it worked So, I mean, that looks a lot more nicer. I mean, more nicer isn't a very grammatically correct, correct word. <laughs> I mean, stumbling with my words right now, but it's okay. You guys get the idea. This is how mask interpolation works. Use it to smooth out your shapes when you're transforming them into other shapes. That's the main reason that I use it. So hopefully you guys learned how to use this and you can use it in whatever you're doing next. I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. Have a good one.